There's no discussion on the other side about what's best for this country, what's best for Australia. There is no vision. Or perhaps there is, and they're too afraid to outline it to us. There are no plans to deal with the myriad of issues that we are facing. What's the plan for the MBN in my electorate of Macquarie, where we need to see how we can improve FTTN, we need to see how uneven technologies that are creating different playing fields for different people are going to be fixed? There is no plan for the forgotten houses of NBN who might never get that connection. What's the plan for water supply for the growing Western Sydney population? What's the plan for flight paths from the second Sydney airport at Badgeries Creek? What's the plan to protect the Blue Mountains from aeroplane noise 24 hours a day and the rest of Western Sydney, which has no idea what it's in for? What's the plan for improving funding for schools, for hospitals, for preventative health care? Oh, wait a minute. The plan is to keep cutting health and education. What's the plan for tackling climate change? Well, we, need, we know the answer to that one. There just flat out isn't one. This is in the too hard basket, not because science and industry doesn't have answers, but because implementing anything meets opposition, not from us, but from within the coalition. What's the plan for recognising First Peoples? Again, nothing not because they expect opposition from us, but because they can't get agreement between themselves and appear to not even be trying. No wonder the Senate's again run out of business. There is no vision, there's no plan, there is no destination that this government is taking us to. With no agenda, it is no wonder that this government is steering or failing to steer an economy that really needs some direction. The economy, look, we all know interest rates are their lowest since the GFC. Might be okay for people trying to buy a house, but it isn't good for anyone who's trying to live off their earnings. Net debt has more than doubled and gross debt is at record highs. Now, both of these have gone up faster under the Liberals' watch than when we were in government. And remember, we dealt with a global financial crisis. We need direction. We're not getting it from this government. It's about time they realised they need to do the job.